Okay, so I told you guys. Oh, psh, duh. Hello, YouTube. It's Luna. I need to stop doing that. Alright, so I told you guys I'd go over what I got for Otacon. Well, <laughs> YouTube, this is gonna be fun. I'm going to warn you all now. I am a Yaoi fangirl, so what you're watching is me go around and get the things I bought. So, and if I told you prices, my mother would kill me. Trust that. My mama does not like me spending my money at Otakon because oh, she's lovely, she's amazing, and she's let her baby spread her wings, but my mama's still protective. Heck, every mother's still protective. So, first and foremost, about $25, the white Mokuna, who decided to flop back on me. Thanks, Mokuna. Hang on a sec, let me turn on the light. Okay, that was the right light, but they didn't flip the switch. Son of a... Hold up a sec. Oh, wow, that's not funny. We're getting okay. Tad bit better. But yes, Mokuna, $25. For $30, the complete collection of Wrath Crews or Night Hunters. For about $30, the PC game Absolute Obedience. I will warn you now, I'm a Yaoi fangirl. This is one of them. And then we have... The three DVDs of Tsukisho, another yaoi that I bought. Those are about 20 bucks all together. And these guys and West Cruz came from the same stall. I do not know the name. I just saw them. They were there and I went, thank you, Jesus. And fi the final anime I got is Eden of the East. I do not know anything about this anime, but it's a special present for someone very dear to my heart and I can't wait for him to get this because I'm going to enjoy his reaction I have a very special thing in plan for this so ladies and gentlemen bear with me YouTube there will be more on Eden of the East to come and for about 7 no $12 I got myself a little miniature figurine of Anubis the Jackal yes they there's a stall that sells Egyptian stuff I was like oh my god thank you I I love Egypt I for some odd reason I do I don't know why but yes this is what I bought at con and I have a very special thing that I'm sure you all are gonna love for all of my geeks out there who here knows what Robotech is? Leave a comment, trust me. But the Robotech panel they had, I I barely remember it from when I was a kid. I had a story I wanted to tell. I asked them, for those of us, well, hang on, let me get to the front of the story. They had a panel, and the Q&A, at the very end, they were giving away good old-fashioned merchandise. Calendars, CDs t-shirts the, the basics this and one other was given out I had no idea that they would do what they did when I when it was my turn to ask a question I asked them what should those of us who barely remember it because we were very little when we saw it but we watched it with our older siblings what should we expect coming back and they just basically mentally scarred me. Yes, they mentally scarred me. And I had this slack jaw expression. My hands were covering my face like, oh my god. And they gave me this as a consolation prize, I guess. But this is a Valkyrie superposable figure. It's a battle void, I believe that's what they called them. Limited, limited edition. It's the... Kakizaki type VF1A there's only one of 1,000 there's only a thousand of these things 
and there are five types so for those of you good at math you know there's very little of these things out and that one is mine I may very well give this to one of my elder brothers because I know my brothers would know more about Robotech than me but I'm debating if YouTube you want to help me make this decision feel free but yeah this is what I'm taking home from Khan. This right here is going to be fun. Eden of the East, there are two more parts to come out with concerning that one. Yes, I know, it's right beside Sakisha. Shut up. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, right there, girl. My apologies, YouTube. I really am sorry. But. This is what to expect whenever you go to Otakon. Alright YouTube, <laughs> with that, Luna's out.